Hi everyone, this is Satya and I'm from Raikit. In this video, I'll show you how to create professional form like contact us form or admission form. And this will completely free and it will hardly take two minutes of your time. And after watching this full video, you can create a form as per your wish. So without wasting time, so let's start. First, you need to log into your WordPress account. Then you need to click on plugin and click on add new plugin. Then in the search bar, type Forminator. Uh, this is the app. You need to uh, click on install and activate that plugin. Now it's done. Then you need to go to the bottom of the page and you can see Forminator. Then click on forms. This is the dashboard where you can create form. So click on create. You can see uh, many forms here like contact form, uh, logging form and registration form. So you can use that form. But for this tutorial, I'm making a form from scratch. So let's click on blank form. Click on create. So at the left side, you can see uh, many options like field, appearance, uh, email notification. From here, you can change the setting of your uh, form. So here, click on insert field. Now, I need to click on name, email, phone number, address, website, and checkbox. Checkbox like you can uh, choose many options among the field. So you can uh, use that uh, option here as well as uh, you can also add select like uh, your country. You can uh, use any country uh, under drop down menu. In the last section, uh, you need a consent from the client so you can add that consent great my form is ready so let's see the preview how it's outlook now my form is ready so here i just want to show you that how to change checkbox you can add any name or any field You can choose option. Then click on apply. Same way you can also change other field. This is the drop down section. Then click on apply. In the upload file sections, you can change anything like PDF, signature, or anything like that. And the last stage that is consent. You can uh, write your own terms and condition. And then after that, you need to see that uh, preview of that form. You can see I have changed this uh, gender uh, and that this uh, drop down section. Now the time is to publish that form. Now you need to copy that code. And now the next is that I'm going to add this form to the page. So in order to do that, I need to click on page and select a page. Add a new container, select a field, click on plus sign and search short code. Drag this and paste that code. Now my form is ready. And this way you can create forms like this as per your wish and as per the customer requirement. If you like the video, don't forget to hit a like button. And if you have any question, you can write in the comment section.